everyone, my name is Andy and I'm an Arbonne Independent Consultant, Executive District Manager. I'm also the owner of Something Blue Stylist, which is an on-location bridal hair and makeup company based out in Southern California as well as here in Northern Indiana. I, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. It's been a, quite a few weeks since my last video, but I'm back this week. I'm bringing to you, this is going to be my go-to look for GTC. I hope that I see you there. Uh, GTC is in Las Vegas. It's coming up in... Like, 15 days I think and I am crazy excited. I have all my new summery dresses. The weather has not been cooperating here in Indiana. Shocking I know. And so I'm ready for some warm weather and some flowy dresses um, and getting to meet all of my team members especially those up in Canada. And so I did this video today because I wanted to show off kind of my coral lip, which has been my go-to for the past few weeks, especially because I've been pairing it with my new turquoise necklace that I absolutely love. And so I did kind of a bronzy glow. I have a lot of bronzer, especially you'll see uh, when you see my before pictures, I do have quite a bit of bronzer on and I love it because I don't tan my face. And um, I do use our um, Glow With It tanless, uh, or I'm sorry, sunless tanning. And so I, I do use that, but I do like that extra little bit of pop, and I do like to do a little bit of contouring with our with our bronzer, and it's perfect for it. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me, andydoesarbon at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well so that you won't miss out on any new videos. Enjoy! Mm -hmm. First thing we're going to go in with is our Arbon Primer. Applying that all over the face, including onto your lids. Then we're going in with our light concealer, applying that all over the lids up to the brow bone. Our first color we're using is Java. I apply that to the outer corners of the eyes, blending it up into the crease, using my eyeball as a guide. Next I'm going in with the color Suede, applying that to the inner corners of the eye and blending out to that darker color. And I'm going in with our highlight in the color Linen, applying that with a fluffy brush all over the um, brow bone as well as into the inner corners. Next I'm going in with our Liquid Liner in Black. To give myself a little bit more control, I will use an eyeliner brush. And anyone that's intimidated with liquid liner, you just do tiny little lines and kind of connect the dots in a way, giving yourself a little bit more control. I apply a little bit of liner to the, um, to the under rim and I will blend that out using the color in Java. just to diffuse that line. Next I'm going in with our color in sand and I apply that to my eyebrows. You always want to make sure that you are shaping your eyebrows because they shape your entire face. Next I'm going in with our It's A Long Story Mascara. I love our mascara because it has that uniform brush and it also it's flexible so it doesn't pull on my eyes. Next I'm going in with our Skin Perfecting Fluid. This is our liquid foundation. I'm using Neutral Beige. I also add a little bit of our Sheer Glow Highlighter. And I apply that using the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki Brush. Next I'm going in with our Setting Pretty Powder, which just gives me that nice soft glow because it has that Optolite technology built in. Then I'm going in with my bronzer. I'm applying that first to the forehead, then by my temples. And then I'm squeezing the brush to give it kind of an angle, and I'm applying that right underneath my cheekbones. And I go underneath right onto the neck. You don't want to forget your neck. 
and blending underneath my jawline as well. I'm going in with our color in Taffeta and applying that right to the apples of my cheeks and blending upward. And I'm applying our Sheer Moisture Lipstick in Coral. 